Today for Mousetrap Monday, I have one of the best mousetrap designs that I've ever tested. The trigger system on this is so sensitive. As soon as a mouse touches it, the trap goes off and you got them. And what makes this so interesting is this is also one of the oldest mousetrap designs that I've ever built. This is called a Marode mousetrap. It's called that because in 1427, a painter named Maraud did a big altar scene with Mary Joseph, a three-part painting. And on one of the paintings, it features Joseph as a carpenter and on his workbench, he's building this mousetrap. So we know it was used in 1427 and probably earlier. That makes this mousetrap design over 600 years old. It also was featured in Mescal's book in 1590. I've been building a lot of traps out of his book. In that, he called it a following trap. And this design continues to be mentioned in literature up through the 1700s. So this was used for several hundred years. The way this trap works is we have two vertical posts here with a cross piece. And in between here, we have some twisted rope. And right in the middle, we have a little stick or rod. Now this has tension on the rope. When you pull it back, it wants to slam forward. So that's what provides the force for this trap. So when you pull it back, you can lift up this little piece right here, this plate. And when you let it go, that comes slamming down. So obviously that's what kills the mouse. When he goes under here like that, it sets off the trigger system and it comes slamming. We have a base here. Now, if you wanted to build this a little taller, you can make this a live animal trap, but right now I'm making it a deadfall. Now, what impresses me most is the trigger system. It just consists of a stick here. I played around quite a bit with the trigger, and I figured if you put a notch back here, you can uh, hook that into the back of the board. It sits in a slot here, and we just have a little hook on the front. So you hook that back one in, and this goes up and down. Now, the second part of this trigger system, is this piece up here. It's just a toggle tied to a string and you have to pull this back, lift up the plate, and then you put in your trigger. That wraps around just like that and then you want to hook this bottom piece in like that. Now I'll show you just how sensitive this is but it works so well. You put your bait in here. Ah, it got me. The mouse comes in and it comes slamming down. It's not incredibly powerful force but it's more than enough to kill a mouse and this just gets tighter and tighter as you move, so it will never be able to back out. I'll lift that out and get my finger out. I'll set this up again and show you just how sensitive this is. It's incredible. Now obviously a trap like this has to have a light touch so that mice will set it off. If it's too rigid and firm, the mouse will take your bait and not get caught. What I have here is a big fluffy feather. All you have to do is touch that with the feather and it goes off. Even a feather will set this trap off. That's so sensitive. Now the only downfall is if the mouse steps on the trigger while it's outside this box, but it's likely to go in from the side and get that bait and be under here when it goes off and you'll catch them. So I'm going to show you how this works with motion cameras in the barn. Let's go set this up and catch some wild mice with a 600 year old style mouse trap. Well, last night we tested out our Marode mouse trap in the barn. This style's over 600 years old. And look, the board's down and there's a piece of tail sticking out right there. So that means we caught a mouse. To check it, you pull back this tension bar, lift up the upper board, and there's the mouse. It looks like it crawled over, tried to get the bait, stepped right there on the little trigger stick, and this came slamming down. It looks like it died very quickly, a humane trap. And this is one of the most sensitive trigger systems that I've ever tested. It's awesome. I can see why this was used for several hundred years. And I think I'm going to build more of these because this is one of my new favorite styles of mouse traps. Even though it's 600 years old, they really knew how to catch mice back then. So an awesome trap, the Marode mouse trap. And if you don't want to kill them, you just build this box a little taller and then you'd have a live catch mouse trap. So simply amazing that something so old works so well.